Hello and welcome to section 2 of the automated UI testing in Java video course. In this section, we are going to go through the initial sample test creation and adding initial core framework components, which are going to be used across the entire course. In particular, we'll create proper structure for our test, then we'll add configuration to adapt our tests to different environments, then We'll make some updates to show how to data drive testing solution and in the end we'll add the basic enhancements to make our tests runnable in parallel. So, now let's start with the first video. In this video we'll make initial preparations for the web driver. After that we'll record some sample scenario and make some small corrections uh, to it so that uh, this sample tests it can be rerunnable. In the end, uh, we will have some uh, very basic form of test scenario to start applying framework related enhancement. Before we start recording our first test, we need to handle one more thing. WebDriver libraries may have uh, some dependencies which can be in conflict with the needed version. When I prepared this example, I had such problem with the HTTP client dependency. By default, WebDriver client refers uh, to 4.5 version of HTTP client, but we actually need 4.2 version. Major problem is that WebDriver tries to use some field which may not exist in some HTTP client versions. This appears at early beginning. Maybe in the future this uh, problem will disappear, but now we have to add HTTP client dependency explicitly. For Maven it's done by excluding HTTP client dependency from Selenium Java and adding separate node for this. For Gradle script the correction is the same. The syntax is just different. And now we are ready to perform recording. For this example we'll take the booking.com website and automate the simple search scenario. For this purpose, we'll use Firefox and its plugin called Selenium IDE. Here on the screen, we see the Firefox window. The left panel uh, shows Selenium IDE. In order to generate sample code in Java, we have to select uh, Options, Clipboard Format, and make sure it uses JUnit. So, let's start recording. We'll populate destination location. Then we choose today's date and check-in date. After that we define that we need a room for one adult and then we click on search button. In the end we click on any text field just to make sure that the page was changed. Once recording is finished we see Selenium IDE list populated. So we can select all rows and copy them. Now it's time to create some tests. We'll create new class for this and add some method called test valid search, which would be a container for our recently recorded test. We'll just need to add test annotation from GUnit, thus such method would be treated as GUnit test. Now we can paste the recorded test. Thus, we have very plain and linear test representation. We have a number of compilation errors. Mainly it's about missing driver variable. Let's declare it first. Then we have to initialize our driver. Let's add additional method called setup. Here we'll initialize driver as a Chrome driver. Let's start with our tests uh, running under Chrome. And then open the main page. Since in this group of actions is about to be executed before every test, we'll annotate setup method with before annotation. Normally, after each test, the driver should be closed. So, and let's let's add additional teardown method annotated with after annotation and call the instruction quitting the driver. After that, we'll update uh, some code and uh, we'll update uh, some locators. Mainly, there are two places for for this. First of all, the locator which corresponds to the date selection should be more reliable. If we keep things as they are now, this test will start failing tomorrow. 
normally we should handle the shift of dates we need and uh, use it starting from current date. But for now, let's make test selecting today's date, especially taking into account that the field itself has quite a unique identifier. Another element is uh, the submit button. Since it's the only submit button on the page, or at least uh, the first one, we can change locator reflecting this. We are almost there. In order to make things running, we need to have additional drivers locally. Web driver doesn't interact with the browser directly. It uses additional applications, which do that for us. They are called drivers. We can find them at uh, HTTP Selenium H HQ dot org download just the site shown on this screen we should download nested drivers and put it into some folder which is inside our project here i reserved dedicated folder named drivers and here are two drivers i've downloaded now we need to make web driver know about those drivers we can use system properties web driver dot chrome dot driver and uh, web driver dot gecko.driver uh, for Firefox. Once we've done it, we can run tests to make sure we've done everything. This is it. Test passed.